Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress JS and REST API tutorial for beginners and this is part 13th of this video session series in which we are going to register our custom route in WordPress. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions of WordPress JS and REST API tutorial to get the clear vision about this tutorial. So far in this playlist guys we have seen in two different cases and now this is our third case. In the first case we had seen that how can we install JSON API and make our custom request to get the data. Okay. And the second we have seen that how can we make our files called if you open our editor then these are the files that we have made like create post, delete post, so update post. Okay, so basically what is the basic mean of these codes actually we had seen in our previous video tutorials. Okay, so this is all about in part 2. Okay, but in part 1 we had seen about the JSON API. Okay, so for that if you go to browser just click on plugin section. So this is the plugin we have installed in the phase 1 section of this playlist. Okay, so if you go to settings, just click on JSON API. So we have seen that how can we use create post, update post and delete post all about the operations of a post. Okay, so these two sections we have seen in a clear way in our previous video sessions. So now in this video session what we are going to do, we are going to register our custom route to make our request. Okay, so for that we need to use a function of WordPress called register rest route. Okay, so basically what we are going to do, we are going to use this action hook. By the help of this action hook, we will use this function to make our custom route. Okay, so before that, what is actually a route is. Okay, so basically if we open this website, just click on that and let's type WP JSON. Okay, so if we copy all these things, just open JSON editor online paste all the codes inside this first box so just get rid of all these and paste all these contents which actually we have copied from this URL okay you have to write WP JSON including your site URL okay so now just make formatting by clicking on this icon and let's say just just click on the first icon now we can see that these are the things actually comes in an object format Okay, so this is the namespace and this is the route section. So basically if we click on this route section, so just scroll down. So we can see that WordPress by default provides these types of route to make our request. So in our previous video sessions, these are the routes that we have used. Okay, so basically these are the routes actually available by the WordPress. Okay, so basically what we are going to do, we are going to register our custom routes in this list. So, so far we have 31 routes in this list. Okay, so if we add any of the custom routes in this list, then the number will be incremented. Okay, so now just go to this website. Now, what is register rest route? Register rest route is a WordPress function basically used to register our custom route. Okay, so the first parameter that it expects from us is about namespace. So what is namespace? So basically if we scroll that the first URL segment after core complex should be unique to your package slash plugin. Okay, so basically if you go to the JSON editor online, so if we open something called post, so this is the namespace. So what is basically a namespace is? So if we go to editor just so the first parameter is a namespace providing a namespace helps avoid conflicts with other routes such as might be defined by core wordpress or by other plugins and themes okay so if we go to json editor online click on link section if we click on that just copy this url if we open this url to the browser then we can see that after wp json we have a namespace called wp v2 Okay, why it is because to avoid our conflicts because if you open another route so just scroll down media section if you open this so it also contains the namespace called WPV2 it means that all the routes of this section will open by using WPV2 so basically basically this prefix represents that these all routes provided by WordPress or version 2 
okay so basically if you're going to make any of our custom route then first of all we need to include a namespace which basically means avoids the conflicts between the defined routes as well as the custom route okay so next part is route so basically if we see this list then in that case all the routes are different for media section if you go to the links then we can see that media slash media is the link okay so if we go to the type section so just click on types links and basically we can see that types is the another routes type in this list okay so basically these are the things guys that we are going to study in this video session that what is namespace what are the routes and how can we pass the arguments so basically what we are going to say in this video session so now we have the two ways first we have to use this action hook okay by the help of this action hook we need to call this function okay by the help of this function we can register a custom route so what is actually this function requires this because basically requires these are the parameters first this is the namespace for example we're going to make our custom route and this is the name that namespace that i have given that is owt online web tutor slash v1 version okay according to your need you can specify or give your namespace okay and this is the first route that we are going to create means owt slash v1 slash simple will be the url segment okay and the next parameter we need to pass array basically this array contains the values called method and this method contains the method type like get post put patch delete this these are the parameters which we need to pass inside this double quotes or we need to use called wp rest server class of wordpress which contains these type of static methods or sorry static properties okay by the help of these static properties actually we can define our these segments to this method type okay so we have two options in this case first either we need to use this section or we need to use this section okay so according to your need we will see in these video sessions okay and the next array parameters that we need to pass is about the callback function what is callback function first of all if we open this route this is the custom route we are going to make okay if we open this route to the url so what function should run actually by opening this url so this is responsible for that means suppose we have a custom url called our site url okay slash wp json slash namespace what the namespace that we have provided like owt slash v1 and what is the name of our route that is simple so by opening this url to the browser what function actually runs so this is only responsible the callback parameter is okay function to be called on this route so now the next thing is the about the argument section we will learn about this parameter in great detail in our later video session okay so basically what is argument section is means what actually this url needs from us if we pass any of the query string or any of the parameter while calling this url so this parameter is actually responsible for that all array means all arguments we will pass in this format means in the array format in the pair of key and value okay so just go to editor and open up so first of all we have to close all these files okay so after closing that just go to wp content themes and your activated theme so right now we have activated theme called 2017 just i'm clicking on that open up functions.php file and this is the file that we need okay just scroll down let's add our custom route functionality so first of all we need to include our add action and basically the add action contains the route means action hook basically this is rest api init okay so just copy this rest api init go to editor and let's say that add action we need to pass our action hook that is rest api init and second the callback function actually basically this actually calls okay so let's say that owt first custom route okay copy the name just define let's say just define here it's a function this is the function that we have attached 
okay uh, now we are going to use this function register is so just copy this function paste inside this and we need to pass some of the parameters inside this function okay so first parameter is about the namespace okay so we need to pass called OWT slash v1 okay so the good practice and the best practice to make any of the custom route in WordPress to give your own namespace which actually don't conflicts with the another routes or namespace actually the WordPress uses okay so this is the namespace that I have given according to your need you can specify your own custom namespace okay and the second parameter we need to specify the call means which API actually we are calling which route actually we are going to hit okay so let's say simple and the next the third parameter contains an array basically this array needs like method name that what actually method we are going to use with this route so let's say that we are going to use for now get method we will discuss each and every section of this get method or let's say WPS server in our later video session in great detail so this is all about method next parameter we need to include inside this array that is callback so just go to editor and let's say that callback callback is responsible to execute or runs that function while calling this URL okay so let's say that call me simple route okay this is the function name that I have given according to your need you can specify your own custom function name okay and uh, the next parameter that is argument we will discuss about this parameter in later video session Okay. so basically what we are going to do we are going to use or register simple route with this namespace and this is the route okay and this is the method type and this is our callback function so just copy this callback function go outside this function and let's declare that let's say function and this is the function name that we have to define with this route okay so let's say that return an array okay basically we need to return an array and let's say that is status equal to one status equal to one and let's say another parameter that is message simple route has been called okay and let's say that method type should be get okay so basically when we hit this route actually this callback function will run and it will return these parameters into our browser okay so just go to browser once more just refresh this page WP JSON part just refresh that section after refreshing just copy another time to this JSON object go to editor let's remove all these sections and paste all the contents inside this box okay just click on this icon this icon successfully we can see that routes is now 33 okay so if we click on the namespace section so this is the namespace section that we have included that is OWT slash v1 okay if we click on the route section just scroll down this is the route as we can see OWT slash v1 slash simple this is the custom route that we have registered open up after clicking on this icon we can see that these are the details associated with this route if we click on the methods then right now we have only one method that we have registered is what is get method okay so basically we have a get method endpoints if we click on this icon then arguments is zero because we have not supplied any argument with this route so far okay and this is the link section actually by the help of this link we actually call this route okay so if we copy this URL just go to browser paste it here and this is the route actually we have developed that is rest API slash JSON and this is our namespace and this is the route name okay so if we press hit enter this is the message that actually we got after this URL and why this message due to this callback function okay instead of this message if you want to means generate or get any type of record from WordPress database then we can obviously we do inside this callback function so let's get started about a simple example that how can we write retrieve uh, all li users list from the WordPress database in this function okay so just I'm going to make call let's say global WPDB okay so let's say WPDB get results okay 
these all functions guys actually we have seen in our whole WordPress tutorial about git results, git var and git row. If you have no idea about the global object as well as about these functions then you can watch our previous video sessions of all types of WordPress customization in OWT that is online web tutor YouTube channel. Okay, so let's say that WPTB prepare and we want to retrieve all users from WordPress. Okay, so let's say select asterisk from WPDB prefix users. Okay, and let's say order by ID descending order. Okay, so actually this will give all of our users list and let's say users list. Okay, and we want result in the array format. So let's say associative array. Okay, so we have stored all the users list inside this variable. Okay, so just save this file. If you save, let's return this variable into the browser. So get rid of all these things. Let's comment out and let's say that return users list. Okay, so if you go to browser again, just refresh this page. Once we refresh, these are the details actually we are getting. Okay, so if we copy this JSON object, open up JSON editor online, another instance, let's paste it here, and this is the object. So right now, if you open up, so only one user right now exists in our database, and it contains basically these ten types of records. Okay, if you go to the administrator panel, sorry, PHP my admin. So basically, this is the database, and if you click on the users, let's click on that. It contains only one record okay so if suppose make copy of another that let's say instead of admin let's say Sanjay Kumar all sections will remain same if we click on let's change email address so let's say Sanjay 123 something dummy value and let's generate another user click on go so right now we have two records in this database table so if we refresh the front end section right now now we got the two users in this list paste it here click on this icon we have two users first is about Sanjay Kumar with ID 2 click on that is admin user ID 1 okay so successfully guys we have seen that how can we register our custom route by using the WordPress function called register rest route and rest API in it. So now we understood that how can we register our custom route in WordPress. Okay, so basic steps you need to understand guys that you need to use a function called register rest route. This is the function that we have to use. Okay, finally we have to attach this function with the rest route called rest API in it. Okay, this is the WordPress action hook we need to provide with this callback function and this callback function actually register your rest route by using register rest route WordPress function. About these parameters, this is the namespace that we have to provide to avoid the conflicts with the WordPress defined routes. This is the route name and basically in the third section we need to pass an array which contains the method name about the callback function and the argument section about the method section it contains various types of like get post put patch delete all about these methods we will discuss in our later video session and also it contains a, another parameter called argument basically argument section is responsible that what our this url needs so right now this url does not e needs any parameter we need to pass into the url if it needs then we need to specify that url parameter into the argument section Okay, so step by step guys we have seen that how can we register a custom route in WordPress and how can we make a call on that. So if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching. Have a great day.